Simon, right now, one adult and one minor are now in police custody. And although there is no confirmed motive, there is community outrage. Family kids for a sleepover, and now the baby is gone. Alicia lives on Goldburn Street in Detroit. She was home yesterday around 10 p.m. when bullets went through the back of her neighbor's home and killed an 11 year old girl while she was attending a sleepover at her grandmother's house with five other children. The gun violence is terrible and it needs to be stopped. We're losing our kids here. It's no longer just the family. We're losing our children to this violence. According to police, the gunshots came from outside of the home. And just a block away on Waytham Street, police confirmed there was gun activity around the same time bullets bombarded the home full of kids. They have not, however, confirmed the two incidents are linked. Right now, police have two people in custody connected to the killing. We had 85 youth shot last year in 2021, and we're already in double digits this year. Detroit Councilman Scott Benson says right now the city is trying to pass several laws to curb gun violence like the Sergeant A. Williams ordinance that will allow guns to be confiscated from homes with documented domestic disputes and expanding its shot spotter program, which will automatically deploy police when it hears gunshots. Our young people cannot be the targets. One of the two people who were arrested is a minor. And Zeke Williams with New Air Detroit, a community organization nonprofit, says the real change needs to start at home. People got to be held accountable for the actions and what's going on. You should know what your kids are, are doing. As the family and the community mourns the loss of this innocent life, Alicia has one plea. I'm asking everybody in this community to keep our baby safe. Stop the violence, you guys. It's not worth it. Simon, one innocent life is lost, but there was five other children inside that home who now have to live with this trauma. So we will continue to follow this story. I'm Kiara Hay for 7 Action News.